What we are doing today is so cool and it's something my kids have talked about and dreamed about for years. We are going to drive to Tampa to a place that cares for and loves animals called Clearwater Aquarium. And we're going to see a dolphin named Winter. And Winter! <laughs> Winter, 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 I'm super excited. And another dolphin named Hope. Winter is a dolphin that lost the most part of its body that any kind of animal that lives under the sea has ever lost. Its whole tail had to get cut off because of infections. There's a movie called Dolphin Tail, which is about them trying to figure out a way to help Winter. In Dolphin Tail 2, um, Hope comes to rescue um, Winter. The people at Clearwater Aquarium figured out a way to rescue Winter and to rescue Hope and to rescue lots of other marine animals. And we get to go down there now and learn more about what they've done to save these animals. And we get to see the animals that we've loved and been fans of for years. We've seen the movies and Bailey's seen them so many times. <laughs> this is a dream come true for our family. We're so excited to go and we're excited to take you along with us because this is an incredible learning experience. Can we get in the car right now? <laughs> yes. Level three is winter, and we're on lift winter, and we're going to see the winter room super excited. I almost said, see it excited. See it excited. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get my baby. Super excited about seeing winter. See her in that picture? Yeah. She's not the cheetah or the shark or that stuff. She's a dolphin. Wow, you guys. Remember when we were trying to figure out how they did some of the scenes? Yeah. I bet they used this robot to be winter in some scenes. I think that's for the dolphin. I think it was for the robot and the dolphin. <laughs> yeah, hi. Good smiling, Duncan. We are going into the animal hospital right now. The number one goal here is to release the animals. So they want to rehabilitate them and release them back into the wild. The animals that are permanent here just can't be released again because of their own reasons. And we'll learn about those soon. So this is really where we bring in all the sea turtles out from the wild that need to be kind of just taken care of for and, different reasons. And did winter and hope go in here? So Winter and Hope didn't go in here because they are a lot bigger than what we can take care of them in here for. So can you guys think of some reasons that sea turtles might have gotten sick? And you could have eaten uh, oh, yeah, plastic yeah. bags because they think they look like jellyfish. That's exactly right. Have you been studying marine biology? Mm -hmm. A little. Sometimes a hook has gotten in their throat. Do you guys see these hooks here? Mm -hmm. We have two sea turtles right now that have both swallowed hooks. And we actually had to go in and take these hooks out of their throat. It's called the fibropapilloma virus. So we can't get the virus, but the sea turtles can get it. And what happens is it causes them to get tumors that we can laser off here. So through these windows right now, we can see them, but they can't see us. And can you guys think of why we don't want the sea turtles to see us? Because they get scared. Yeah, they might get scared. And also, we don't want them to get used to people at all. We want to make sure that when we release them back into the wild, that they're completely set up for success, that they don't go up approaching people thinking that people might be able to give them food. You might be able to see a shadow of one spin right over here. So the ones over there on this side, those are quarantined. Those have that virus I was telling you guys about. We have two nurse sharks in here named Thelma and Louise. Winter. Uh -huh. Or you guys might be able to see it right here. Is that winter? That's winter. 
She's not wearing her tail right now though. Winter was discovered with her tail trapped in a crab trap. Clearwater Aquarium rescued her and was told that she would not make it and should be put to sleep. They wanted to fight for her and they totally did. Her tail was too damaged to survive the crab trap, but they had an amazing idea to create a prosthetic tail for her. And all of that is discussed in the movie Dolphin Tail. It's a great movie, I highly recommend it. Winter is the first animal to have a successful prosthetic and she survived because of it. It's absolutely incredible. The prosthetic is used for her rehabilitation and her, um, for her, like her exercise. It's not permanently attached to her, but it's there so that she can thrive as a dolphin and it's an incredible success story. And not only was Winter's story a success, but a lot of people who've needed prosthetics or who've lost a limb have been massively inspired by Winter's story. We went and we talked to people who work here and in the back offices they have pictures and stories of people who were just inspired by Winter and who have needed prosthetics or who've lost limbs or who were born without limbs and just how in awe of Winter's success they were and how inspired they were to push themselves and do more than they ever imagined they could and they're just wonderful, wonderful stories. This aquarium is doing so much good for animals and for people too. It's a great place to visit and to learn and to support the animals and we're so glad that we could be here today. We will have a link below in the info box if you want to learn more about Clearwater Aquarium. You can actually watch Winter and Hope all the time because they have live streaming on their website. You can go there and learn about what they're doing. You can come here and visit. And there is also ways for you to donate if you're interested. So check out that link. And Hope was found when she was two months old. She was washed ashore with her mother. Her mother had passed away. Hope had followed her because that's what a two month old dolphin does with its mommy. Hope would have died as well. Clearwater Aquarium rescued her, but since she was two months old when she was found, there was no way for her to return to the wild because she wouldn't have any survival skills or ability to hunt. And there's no way to teach a dolphin that in captivity. So Hope is here permanently as well. So she could pick either bubbles or the paintbrush. And she picked the paintbrush. If you guys happen out to see a show at Nicholas, he absolutely loves all of his high energy behaviors. Give her a round of applause. One of the dolphins here at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. 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 We're gonna meet Hope. You're about to meet a dolphin. Hope. Hope, that's right. You going to sleep? What do you think <laughs> about all this? He wants to be a little dolphin. He's our swimmer. You guys have to come back when he's five. How did that feel? Yeah. It was so cool. I touched and Bailey and Jacob uh, feed it. Hope felt like a big bump. 
Like a big bump? Yeah. Was she smooth or was she was she bumpy? She was smooth. smooth. So you just drop the food into her mouth and then she eats. It was really cool. does she wear that? So it really depends on her different needs for the week. So it could be a couple times a day, it could be a couple times a week. It goes in like this. Yeah. And then once it's like this, you hold it right there, and that's when these parts come down for an extra layer of attachment. Now you're winter. <laughs> wow. Do you guys recognize this from the movie? These are actual x-rays of Winter's tail. This one's especially for you. I thought you would like the pink glitter, Winter. Yeah? Thank you. You're welcome. So this is pretty special. It has some signatures on the bottom. And those <laughs> are from the actors in the Dolphin Tail movies. Oh, thank you. This is as big as you. you got a Winter. You want to give Winter a kiss? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got the movies for you guys. Oh. <laughs> and then all the Yeah, 
myself three. This is actually a research boat and they're gonna do something called a net pull where they get oh, stuff in a net. And then they log everything that they catch and then they put it back. floating line on top and there is a chain line on bottom so while the chain line wants to go down the floating line wants to go up and it creates this 10 foot wide mouth kind of like a funnel or like a drumstick ice cream cone drumstick um, so all of the good stuff is all in the bottom so when you see us pull it up sometimes it looks like we don't have anything when you get to the bottom we have like 300 fish We are now on an island in the middle of Clearwater Bay. It's called One Tree Island for that reason. There's a lot of shells on this island. I thought it was sand. You thought those shells were sand? One of those sea turtles is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, which is a critically endangered sea turtle. And then there are two other turtles in there that are green sea turtles. Unfortunately, all three of them have been hit by a boat. The green sea turtles are blind, so they can't go back out into the wild. And the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, his jaw is broken, so he can't actually chew up his food. So they have to mush up all of his food and feed it to him that way. What's that turtle's name? So the goal here is to rehabilitate and then release these animals back into the wild. And that goal was so apparent today because they care about the animals so much that they're not even having certain animals being on exhibit and on display because they're doing truly what's best for the animal. And that was really neat. The resident animals here have been deemed unsuitable to return to the wild, typically because they aren't able to fend for themselves. So they aren't able to catch food, they aren't able to take care of themselves if they were returned to the ocean. Additionally, winter, the dolphin, is on a break from people time right now. So the kids were able to interact with Hope for a brief amount of time because she's in good spirits and enjoying that time. But winter needed a little bit of a break because she was so popular, I think, from the movies that she'd done a lot of that and they wanted to give her some time. And I thought that was really respectful. Anyway, this has been a wonderful facility, especially for us to tour because they really are heavy on the education and on the well-being of the animals. We got to go tour their hospital. We got to see where they were getting their food prepared. And to me, that's really exciting to see. The kids got an excellent education today. We got to see animals being truly loved and taken care of. And I just thought it was a great, great experience. This facility is so interesting because it's actually an old water treatment plant. Like you can just tell that people here loved animals and were trying to figure out any way they could to help them. So it's an old water treatment facility and that's why the, the spaces are the way they are. And they're actually expanding. I think they said next year. They're gonna have bigger tanks. They're gonna have even better places for these animals to be cared for. They'll be able to take care of small whales on occasion, which is really cool and really exciting. So that way the whales that are found in this area don't have to be transported like long distances. And they'll be able to be cared for right away in the best way they can be.
You guys excited? A meet up? Yeah. Ready to meet yeah, up? Booze. Duncan's asleep. We'll see how long that nap lasts. Oh, this is our whole meet up group here. Oh. Yeah. Team Green! That's us.